everyone. I'm Crystal Cruz. Tonight on News West 9 at 6, we begin with some big oil news. Two big oil producers, Diamondback and Endeavor, announced plans to merge. It's a deal worth $26 billion. Both are major players here in the basin. As Jason Freund found out, mergers like this are becoming more common. Well, Crystal, this move between Diamondback and Endeavor is the type of move that is actually becoming increasingly more common amongst independent oil companies here in the Permian Basin. This planned merger isn't a new phenomenon in the West Texas oil and gas scene. In fact, it's becoming more common. Independent oil companies are starting to band together to take advantage of the prosperous Permian Basin. We've had several mergers of large oil companies lately and acquisitions of large oil companies, several of them involving resources in the Permian Basin. So you're getting the industry a bit more concentrated. With the acquisition, it puts this new company in a position to put more money into new ideas and new products, ultimately leading to more barrels of oil coming out of the Permian Basin. When you have a larger concentrations, there's more incentive to invest resources into finding and developing those resources, into implementing the technologies that, that make it more efficient and, and any number of other things that are beneficial. So on the whole, over the long term, uh, you probably are going to see uh, a somewhat greater level of production than you would have otherwise. According to Perryman, more production is going to be necessary in the future, which is why more independent companies like Diamondback and Endeavor are merging together in the name of efficiency. We're going to be needing the shale uh, oil and shale gas from the low carbon formations in the Permian Basin for decades to come. And so you're seeing people basically pooling resources, consolidating in order to be more efficient in their production of those resources and recognizing, again, you don't spend $26 billion on something if you don't think you're going to be using it for decades to come. And while it may not have an immediate effect on people working the rigs, this merger would create one of the largest independent oil companies in the region. And the bigger the company, the more resources at their disposal, meaning more jobs for the Permian Basin. Now, Perryman also explained that while the short-term gains won't be visible for a while, the long-term effects will be seeing more jobs in the oil and gas industry for people here in the Permian Basin. Now, this merger is expected to close in the fourth quarter of 2024, and the combined company will remain in Midland.